in part one we saw that this thing failed to output uh, 5 volts peak to peak. In part two we gained an understanding, I hope, of uh, how the circuitry of this thing works. So in part three I'll troubleshoot it and come up with a reason and hopefully fix the problem with uh, not getting 5 volts peak to peak out of this. One thing sort of unique to this signal generator is in, everything's in peak to peak volts or megahertz I mean, rather than dBm. Uh, 5 volts peak to peak is around 17 point, I don't know, 8, 17.9 dBm. So we'll take a look at some troubleshooting techniques. I suspect we're not able to develop t minus 10 volts of reference voltage, which means probably the 11 volt, the minus 11 volt power supply is not adequately developed. That means we don't get our reference voltage. That in turn means we don't get 5 volts output. Well, 10 volts output here. 5 volts output here. So any good state, any good troubleshooting system should start with the power supplies. And I think we'll discover the problem. This is a page from the uh, Troubleshooting and Calibration Manual. The plus 6.2 supply is right here. It's the positive end of this capacitor. And that is right here. I've got one side of the meter connected here, which is to ground. Now you have to trust me because I'm using the bench meter. Just turned it on, and that reads 5.96 volts, which is a little low. Actually, reads 5.98 volts. I'm going to power it down again. Powers off. The negative supply is the negative end of this capacitor or whatever this is see what that is okay it's the negative end of this capacitor there's a wire going down here can't see it in the picture over here you can see it pretty clearly it's this wire I'll change probes from here to here. And we'll turn it on. Well, it reads 10.9 volts. So that's close enough to 11 that I'm not going to worry about it. That doesn't explain why my theory is wrong. This is the peak-to-peak -peak detector board. This white wire, well, white and orange wire, okay, down here, which is labeled see if you carefully look at it is is this point right here so I'll see if we have minus 10 volts because I do have this set in the uh, maximum position I've got my test lead hooked to point C I'm going to turn it on Nine point nine volts. I'm going to vary this uh, coarse attenuation. The uh, fine adjust knob. 
and sure enough it goes up to 11 volts, 10.95 nah, and goes down to 9.96 so we are getting our 10 volts right here a look on this sampling port and see what kind of voltage we get here on the oscilloscope I am connected right here I can't find this sampling port and this is a coaxial connector I'm connected right here with my oscilloscope I'm connected to the end of this I don't know if you can see it this piece of coax runs down here and sneaks around And this is the end of it right here. Right here. It's not that white, the white wire below, it's not part of it. It goes right here. Through this and up to this board. And I read 10 volts peak to peak right here on the oscilloscope. Let me take this off and get a probe on it. A little, uh, you know, the uh, pointy end. I'll try to get on this connector right here. And I read 10.4 volts peak to peak. All right, I've changed my test setup. I got rid of this. Hope I didn't throw it away. I got rid of this 50 ohm terminator. I put on um, the general radio by BNC, BNC by SMA. This is a 50 ohm SMA terminator. This goes the oscilloscope. Look at the oscilloscope. 5.12 volts. Exact, well, it's two tenths of, it's 0 0.12 volts off what it should be. So, this thing works exactly as it should work. The volt, peak to peak, Point four six millivolts. I'd say that's pretty good. The millivolt, I don't know if the scope will keep up with this. Fifty one millivolts. So without any calibration, this thing works just fine. It was my test setup all along. That's my fault. Looking at the spectrum analyzer, I'm set up from 10 megahertz to 400 megahertz. The output of the sweet, the output of the uh, signal generator, is set for 40 megahertz. Let me clear that screen. There we go. Uh, the peak is at uh, 40 megahertz, 17 dBm. I have no termination on the uh, a signal generator, but the input to the spectrum analyzer is 50 ohms. The next peak is at uh, 80 megahertz, second harmonic. 
and then you see everything else is ridiculously low. The second harmonic is uh, 28 dBm. That's 17 dBm. So as far as spectral purity goes, this is a really nice generator. Let me take it down to 15 megahertz. And the peak is 14667 at 17 decibels. It's a constant signal generator. There's the second harmonic down 23 or down 223 and the third harmonic is down to minus 36. I'll go up to 100 megahertz as high as it'll go to peak at 101. I'm, I'm a little above 100 on the scale. Let me go back to 100. The scale set for 100. And the peak says 101 megacycles. It's down now to 16, but you see the second and third harmonic are down below 20. So this spectral purity of this oscillator is extremely good. Extremely good. And right out of the box, it was fine. All this. Troubleshooting bullshit was uh, ridiculous. It was my measurement test set up. So I'll, I'll wrap this up. I don't know how long this is going to be. Thank you.